Multi-step equations review number three. If you don't already have these written down, uh, make sure you might want to write them down or make sure you remember them. First, you're going to distribute and combine like terms on both sides of the equal sign. You're not going to distribute or combine like terms on when they're on either side of the um, equal sign. So if you have 2x on one side and 4x on the other, you cannot combine those. Then you're going to get variables on only one side. And sometimes, or most often, it helps to zero out the variables that have a lesser value. Then you're going to isolate your variable, and then you're going to solve. Uh, another couple of helpful reminders are uh, divide by exactly what you multiplied by. In other words, if you have negative 2x equals 10, then you're not, not dividing by 2, you're dividing by negative 2. And then also to find the value of positive variables. So in other words, if you have negative x equals 10, we don't care what the value of negative x is. We want the value of positive x, which would be negative 10. So go ahead and write down this problem, and then we'll check by solving together. Um, this is an example of a problem that you may see on your quiz tomorrow. So pause, solve, and then we'll solve together. So the first thing that we're going to do is distribute and combine like terms. So negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 5 is a positive 30V. And that has the same value as 54 positives. Okay, um, we don't have any other distribution or combining of like terms. So now we're going to isolate our variable. Or we're going to get our variables on one side, and they already are. Now we're going to isolate our variable by adding 6 positives to both sides. So 30 V's has the same weight as 60 positives. To find the weight of 1 V, we have to divide by 30. So V has a value of 2. Okay, so go ahead and write down this problem, pause the video, solve it, and then we'll solve together. So the first thing that we have to do is distribute and combine like terms, which we don't have any to combine. Um, because we have variables on either side. So now we need to get our variables only on one side. So I'm going to eliminate my smaller variable, the variable that I have less of. And negative 4 has a lesser value than positive 8. So I'm going to get rid of my four negative x's. But I also have to add four x's to this side. So that's going to be 12 x's, a negative 1, and that has the same weight as 23. Now I have to isolate my variable, so I've got to get rid of my negative 1. So I'm going to add 1. So 12x has, x has the same weight as 24. And we want to divide by 12. So x has a value of 2. All right, go ahead and solve this one. And we'll check together. So the, again, the first thing that we have to do is combine like terms and or distribute. So let's distribute our 6 to our y, that's 6y, and our 6 to our 7, that's positive 42, and that has the same weight as 3y. We have no other distribution or combining of like terms. So now we have to get all of our vari variables on one side. I'm going to get rid of the smaller amount of variables, and in this case I have 3y's and 6y's. So I'm going to get rid of my three negative y, or my three y's with negative y's. So I'm left with three y's plus 42, and that weighs nothing because I got rid of everything on this side. Now I have to isolate my variable, so I'm going to subtract 42 or add 42 negatives. So three y weighs the same as 42 negatives. So I'm going to divide by three. So y has a weight of negative 7, not negative 7, negative 14. I don't know why I said negative 7. All right, so now next we are going to, um, these are your extra credit problems. So you need to get a separate sheet of paper, um, title it extra credit problems, put your name, your first and last name, and today's date, Write down the problem, solve it, and you'll turn this in tomorrow with your quiz, and each problem is worth an additional two points to your quiz.